Um, it's a real honor to be here tonight, and uh, I'm already inspired. Um, I don't know what all of you may be planning, um, but uh, I'm excited just listening. Um, and, and I think I'm also excited after about oh, coming up to four years in senior housing and long-term care. It's the only thing I've done since I graduated from college. Um, and to see a room, one, that's full, when we're talking about something with 50 plus, but then also to see a room that is full with some people who are less than 50 plus is also very encouraging because we are constantly thinking about both within our organization and within the association here in California for assisted living, where is the next generation that has the care and concern for persons over the age of 50? Um, or in my work with Brookdale Senior Living, really for persons over the age of 80. Uh, and so I'm grateful tonight as I look around to see some people that uh, are younger than me. And uh, of course, the older I get, the more the numbers still are younger than me. So, um, I, and one of the things that I was thinking about at Brookdale Senior Living, our mission statement is enriching the lives of those we serve with compassion, respect, excellence, and integrity. And as I was thinking about that, as I'm listening to people speaking this evening, um, that should be your mantra. You're designing for this very special group of people. And to keep in mind serving as you're designing, you're going to be serving a group of people. Um, and serving in a fashion that maintains their dignity, that you're serving in a fashion that um, is compassionate, and that you care, and that the, the products or the designs that you are doing um, really um, are of an excellent nature. And so I was just really struck as I was sitting here this evening just listening how well our mission statement within our organization um, I think really can be a statement to you also as you're working through this design process. Um, as, we, as we build on our mission statement, and we're talking about, we use words such as passion. We're passionate about what we do within our organization. We're passionate about our seniors. Um, you have to have passion to design. What you're doing I can't do it. I can take care of seniors. But this whole design thing, you folks are brilliant. And we need you desperately to be those great thinkers, um, to be passionate, to have the courage. You're entrepreneurs. I collect a paycheck every two weeks. Those are two remarkably different things. <laughs> I couldn't do it. And to have the courage to step out there and say, this, this is what you're called to do. Um, it really is remarkable. And then to build those partnerships. Brookdale Senior Living is looking for partnerships. We're looking for those things that will enrich the lives of our residents. Um, and, and then having that whole trust factor. Um, here's just a map. You can see uh, where our communities are throughout the United States. I keep encouraging our CEO to buy in Montana. I happen to like Montana. <laughs> um, but thus far, we are not in Montana. But currently, we do serve about 67,000 residents across the United States. And we do have about 266 communities or so that are specifically designed to care for residents with dementia. Um, our, our company, we run the full gamut. We start at independent living. We run through skilled nursing. And in addition to providing the uh, living environments for seniors, we also provide many of the ancillary services that they may need, whether that is in the, in the realm of therapy, hospice, home health, um, and so forth. And so um, our, our tagline now is all the places life can go. 
And when it comes to seniors that are living with dementia, um, that includes them. Because our seniors with dementia have an opportunity to still take life all places that it can go for them. Um, I think some of the challenges that, that um, you're going to be facing are some of the age-old notions about old people, if you will. Or, conversely, um, what, what we really want of all of us, myself included, my parents included at the age of 81, all of us want to live to some ripe old age, very healthy, in great physical condition, which I need to get started on soon. <laughs> um, and we want to live at home, we want to be independent. And then at some age, at some point, we want to die in our sleep. Right? In Brookdale, with the 67,000 residents that we serve, it's a different paradigm. Uh, some of it is simply because they want a, a, a person wants to live in a communal living space, but in other, ter uh, other times, whether it's a resident with mild cognitive dementia, whether it is somebody in the end stages of Alzheimer's, there is a need to move into a community supported, um, uh, uh, com <coughs> a, a supportive community. And so what we look at with our residents, and particularly residents with dementia, is not focusing on what is your level of independence. That may not be the area where we really want to focus with some of our residents. Instead, particularly with our residents with dementia, um, where can that resident have some sense of self-determination? What is it that they can do for themselves, maybe just today? We talk about in our, uh, in our uh, Alzheimer's communities, we talk about having daily moments of success. And how can we design product for our residents with dementia so that they can experience daily moments of success? And so we want to move from how do we keep them the most independent, and I think it is something different than just verbiage. But how do we offer an opportunity for our residents in our communities to have self-determination and to experience each and every day a moment of success? I think the other thing that we need to be talking about more is the fact that people can live with dementia, that there is life even with dementia, even with our residents who are heading into the end stages of dementia. How do we continue to have design that helps even residents at their end stage of life still have that daily moment of success? And I think that's a new dynamic. Um, certainly, when I started out in long-term care, number one, there wasn't assisted living. So if you had dementia, you were in our nursing home. And I always worked in some of the finest uh, uh, communities, um, here mostly in the state of California. And in those days, the right thing to do was to put somebody in a wheelchair, wrap a vest restraint on them, <laughs> tie it to the bottom of the wheelchair so they wouldn't hurt themselves, and then put them in front of a television and watch Andy Griffith. We also went through the years of, I think, what was it called? Reality orientation, no Mrs. Jones, your mother is dead. And so we have really moved over the last decades. Um, and design needs to move with it. And innovation needs to move with it. We are very much interested in seeing technology in our dimension. Because our residents can benefit from 
technology, even while they're living with Alzheimer's. Um, our old, uh, and I just alluded to this a little bit, uh, the old dementia kind of story. We had very large spaces. We went to large group activities. Well, we would do the activities, and they would watch. It was a very passive environment. Uh, it was filled with a large TV. You'd walk in, and in those days, of course, they were quite large. But large TVs. Um, the proverbial fish tank. I don't like looking at fish now. I'm not sure why I would like it at night. <laughs> Do any of you really sit around and watch fish? Now, some of you may. And, 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 good. <laughs> um, but it's just not my gig, you know? Uh, and, and so, but this is what our design used to look like. It was a very passive way of looking at life for our residents in our dementia units. Um, we like to call it bingo ball toss and birthday parties. And that's what it was. Because we hadn't convinced ourselves or we hadn't thought through this process that residents can live with dementia. That there is life. That bingo ball toss and birthday parties is not living. It's just being. And where can technology and where can design take us so that we move from bingo, ball toss, and birthday parties and we actually begin to have, allow our residents or help our residents in having those daily moments um, and so what we want to, what, what, we, what we want to do is change this old paradigm. The list of things that people with Alzheimer's cannot do. And begin to take a look at all of the things that they can do. And that's you. Helping us think through, what can our residents do? I just got told I have to hurry. So I'm going to hurt you. Okay, and so what we want to do is we want to emphasize in as we are, are, are assuring that our residents are living a full and meaningful life with, with dementia, in particular, real tasks, real things. Um, in the past, we would set a resident down at a table and we'd give them a little silverware holder and we'd say, here, go ahead. Mrs. Jones, you can put your knife here and your forks here and your spoons here and you can stack them in the silverware holder. Today we want to ask that resident if they would care to participate in setting the dining room for the forthcoming meal. A real and meaningful task uh, where the resident also feels that there is purpose in their life. Um, and so as you can see here, uh, again, as, as a part of Brookdale, what we are looking for in design is uh, is that new paradigm again of working towards having our residents have the opportunity for those daily moments and i will just end with this um, uh, so we were talking about skype um, we are um, we have wired most of our communities now in all of our alzheimer's communities i believe all of them now um, we have a, uh, a, a software program that we have purchased which includes skype and here's a picture of one of our residents in St. Louis, 104 years old, living in one of our dementia uh, communities, able to, not able to go for the first time ever with their family to Hawaii. And while there was snow on the ground in St. Louis, she was able to Skype with her daughter in Hawaii and see where they were. Um, and it was a meaningful moment for that resident using technology that even I say five years ago we would have said, not in a dementia unit. And, but while it can be Skype, and that's my, uh, at my last uh, slide here, um, we can go from Skype, a much more technologically advanced uh, product, um, and yet we can also design for the simple. This was a resident, he just wanted to be one of the guys painting one of the fences 
on the porch of one of our communities. It was, her, it was his daily moment of success. So that design that you're working on doesn't have to set the world on fire. <clears throat> it can be as simple as a paintbrush on a gate to allow a resident to have that one daily moment of success. Thank you very much.